and welcome to Merida Centro. Tonight we're in the center of Merida and we're gonna go and explore the central plaza, the main square of the town here, of the city here. So with that, as you see there, there are so much life in the center of the city here. There's busking, there's restaurants left, right and center, there's these kind of nice alleyways and parks and little squares as you see here behind me. There's lots of street activity in general. People like this guy over here. <laughs> I don't know what he's up to. But there is the Camino, he says. People selling stuff on the street. It's relatively touristy here. As you would expect in, a, in the center of a city like Merida. It is quite touristy. You have both English and Spanish menus in, uh, in every restaurant pretty much here. Um, but it's lovely. It's very, very nice. And as I said, like this, architecture of these churches and stuff it's fantastic it's fantastic there's so much great architecture here in the city absolutely beautiful even if you're like me like not much of an architect uh, design freak or whatever you want to call it you can still appreciate the, the details in the buildings here so so yeah, join me tonight as we as we go and head to the center, to the main square, and explore what the main square has to do on a has to offer on an evening, on a Thursday evening. All right, see you there, vamos Leones. All right, so here we are, next to the church at the main square. The main square is over here behind me. The church is here on the side. Before I show you the main square, there's this interesting detail on the church if you see on the corners here right there the stone is different and why is the stone different the rock that they used to build the, the church apparently i read on i read online on lonely planet that um, there used to be a mayan uh, a mayan temple here and when the spanish came they used some of the uh, of the old rocks from that mayan temple to put in to their, uh, to their uh, building, right, to their church, to basically show, uh, in their words, unity between Spanish and Mayans, uh, but really, if you think about it, it's probably more to show that, hey, this Mayan religion is no longer accepted, you are supposed to now believe in Catholics, in the Catholic Church, just like we do in Spain. So we're gonna take some of your old Mayan temple, but you're gonna destroy that temple, and then we're gonna keep some of the rocks, and we're gonna construct our own church, our own place of worship. So yeah, that's, that's part of the story of this church. Um, gruesome, a bit of uh, insight onto the, to the history of, of the city here. But it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate, but it is the history and you should know these kind of things, I think. But the church is absolutely gorgeous, as you see here. Lit up at night. Fantastic, fantastic church. Absolutely gorgeous. The place here is the main square. It's wonderful. It's beautiful, lit up, as you see over there. Street lights are cross now. We can cross here. You see these in the Mexican colors. Lights in the, in the light posts for decorations. We have these guys selling stuff here all the time. The obligatory boyfriend taking photos of the girlfriend <laughs> to all the boyfriends out there you know exactly what I'm talking about that is part of part of the job of being a boyfriend isn't it <laughs> yeah here we go the main square very beautiful 
you have these seeds classic those white seeds there they're everywhere in squares and important places in Merida you have the obligatory um, sign with the name of the city over there and then you have this like plaza in the middle where you can have some live music I imagine uh, on carnival and when they celebrate day of the death and all day of the dead and all this Dia de los Muertos and then we have the church over there behind us See, and this is this is the main square as you see very chill very very much a family vibe here some music going on in the background people just hanging around couples families mixed with some tourism as well so yeah wonderful wonderful little little main square that they have here very very beautiful happily happily, happily surprised or pleasantly surprised is the is the word isn't it very much so and then we have this other lit up building over here I'm not exactly sure what it is if anyone local knows let me know in the in the comments down below but it certainly is beautiful with the purple and those arches the lights that they've designed on the building there I think if I would have to guess it would be a, a governmental local governmental building of like the the Yucatan estate uh, the Yucatan state but uh, I'm not sure I'm definitely not sure also another fun fact <laughs> they have phone booths still here you see these phone booths are everywhere in town I haven't seen phone booths around for since I was a little kid it's <laughs> it's a throwback to throwback to the to the 90s times before everyone had a had a computer in their pocket thanks to thanks to Steve Jobs for for setting us up with that one <laughs> but yeah all right I think I'll turn off the camera here for now and we will keep exploring and I'll turn back on when we find some more things of interest listen to those insects I'm hungry so I think I'll go hunt for maybe a taco something to eat but yeah this is this is the main square of Merida very beautiful Amos Leones so that over there seems to be a market here seems to be something that we should go and look into at some point seems to be coming into a more local area here a bit far like just a couple blocks away from from the plaza central it's kind of interesting more what i know from from bolivia this kind of place here oh damn it's the music it's not you know with the <laughs> monetization YouTube does not like the music like this but yeah we have these guys here making tacos food stands having some dinner over there all right so that's that's what this area is like it's very like the the houses reminds me of like a more she would say like an old school Spanish town which I guess it's quite obvious that why it should remind me of that because you know, for obvious reasons no Spain has a huge influence here so I think I'll go back to that guy and see what kind of tacos he has and because I'm hungry and that looks delicious so we'll see tacos I've had a few tacos here huh? lovely lovely affordable give in this taco taco pastor how much is 
10, la 1. Uno. Uno. Una, sí. Un taco, un taco, por favor. Ok, so only 10 pesos for one taco. So 10 pesos is like one dollar. So that's pretty good value, isn't it? He also has hamburguesas. He also has hamburgers. Still stand here. There he is preparing the food. The taco pastor is like the taco pastor is like the classic one. So I'll let him finish it up and try how it is. See you when I get the food. There we go. That's the taco. We'll put some guacamole on top here. So the guacamole is different here. It's like liquid rather than the guacamole. You can get the normal guacamole that you're used to from outside. This one is picante, so we'll see how picante it actually is. Experience tells me that it is very picante when they say picante. <laughs> All right, let's dive in. with a, I don't know what the herbs are, I think they're called achicote, but it's absolutely delicious. It's just onion and uh, cilantro and, and the meat. And then you put the salsas on yourself to make it as spicy as you want, and then you just dive in. 10 pesos, one dollar per taco. You can't go wrong with that. I think we have to come here to do a street food video. I'm not that hungry right now, I just want a little snack. But have a look at that. Like, if you want a street food video, let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video that I made with street food from Bolivia, I think we'll definitely enjoy some street food here in this area of the city. Alright, that's it for dinner, that's it for the, for the food for now. I'll pay this guy and then we'll keep exploring some more. Alright, that was a lovely taco there. So lovely that I decided to try one of the other foods which is called torta. It's basically a sandwich with the same kind of meat as the taco has. Uh, the pastor. Then it has onion and cheese and cilantro as well. And as well uh, the chili sauce and um, guacamole. So very nice. Very nice guy there. The, the sandwich here, the torta was um, 28 so that's like three dollars for a sandwich like this basically basically the the half subway size that's the size of this one uh, i mean in bolivia i did the, the street food video with mcdonald's against bolivia here we could do subway against this torta and this torta will win every day every day of the week fantastic little fantastic little uh, snack for an evening here i had quite a big uh, i had quite a big lunch so i'm just having a, a light snack for for dinner tonight yeah i finished the sandwich there i got interrupted by <laughs> by the traffic the bus was making too much noise i was not sure if you could hear me there before, but yeah, what I was about to go and say was another thing that I do like about the city here yeah, is these old buildings and the fact that, as you see, the building there, like this one over there, they are keeping these buildings alive. You see quite a few of these old, old school buildings of the same style, 
being restored today. And I absolutely love that, that they keep the tradition of the city alive, that they don't just build another modern glass building that you can find in any in any big city of, of the of the size of Merida across the whole world. No, this actually keeps the the identity and the uniqueness and the beauty of of the city alive and the whole reason why you would want to come here well, in the first place is the city has a unique character to it, it has a unique feel to it. It's beautiful <laughs> and it's unique in its own way rather than just full of these glass buildings that you can find literally anywhere in any city with with millions of inhab with a couple million or a million inhabitants across the globe. So yeah, points to Merida for that. And with that said, I think I'll end the video here. I'll say thank you for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe on your way out, and I'll see you in the next video. Vamos Leones!